Hey ladies, welcome back to the mini series, 10 Signs You Don't Know Yourself. Uh, before we get into it, I'm Shalise and I'm a life coach for shy introverts. Alright, so sign number three that you do not know yourself is... You don't know your purpose. Yes, yes darling. Now... Um, so what do I mean by that? What is a purpose? Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to do two definitions. We're going to do the Google definition and then we're going to do a biblical definition, right? Because God put us here, so his definition is the ultimate definition. All right, so let's get to the Google definition. Okay, so a purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. I gotta say, that's a pretty good definition. Yeah. So the purpose is, according to Google, your purpose is the reason you exist. Why did God put you on earth? So when we go to a biblical definition of purpose, because there are uh, a few passages of scripture that um, describe purpose. Purpose in the bible actually refers to the purpose that god placed on your life not the purpose that you have the purpose that god placed on your life and basically what that means is god determines why you're here and what you are meant to do so we have a scripture it's from proverbs 19 verse 21 and it says many are the plans in a person's heart but it is the lord's purpose that prevails Meaning, you have all these things that you want to do that you believe are linked to your purpose. And the thing about it is, sometimes what you desire to do could actually be linked to God's purpose for your life. But a lot of the times, we tend to get uh, sidetracked and distracted um, and kind of base our purposes on what we're insecure about in life, right? In this passage of scripture, it is showing that your purpose whatever you think you want to do and you go after it and you seek it um it is god's purpose for your life that supersedes that for instance when it comes to me right i always had i always had a natural ability to um share my life wisdom with other people around me who needed to hear it at the time meaning if i learned a lesson if I gain wisdom in an area about something, I would always attract and draw women who needed to hear it. And it helped a lot of people. And then other people, you know, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. All that noise, right? Went, went in one ear and out the other or didn't even penetrate the first ear. But for some reason, which I know the reason now, but we're not going to get into that. But for some reason, I was too intimidated by this. And so I tried to do other things. I tried to start a clothing business. I tried to start all these things. I tried to um, be a software developer. I tried to do all these things. Um, because I wanted to avoid my purpose. Like I said, I've always had an inkling of what I was meant to do, but I would stagnate my ability to truly discover what God's purpose for my life was by avoiding it and by avoiding um, the changes I needed to make in my life and by avoiding submitting my life to God in order to truly discover my purpose and actually begin to live in it, right? So what are you doing in your life where you know God has a purpose for your life? You kind of know what it is, but you refuse to submit to it? What are some things that you're doing that you know is not your purpose? Now, there are several steps and several ways to living in your purpose and knowing your purpose. Um, one of the biggest ways is to get to know who you are right now. Get to know the person you've been, not the person you want to be, not the person you imagine yourself to be, not the person that other people tell you you are, but get to know who you actually are right now, which means you need to get to truth. And one great way to get to truth is to submit your life to God because he will reveal all truth to you 
So all the lies you tell yourself about who you are and where you are in life and what you're doing and why you're doing it, the closer you get to God, the more the rose-colored glasses kind of disappear, right? Yeah, you have to seek the truth. You have to figure out who you are now so that you can actually start becoming who God put you here to be. Okay, so as we continue through the mini series of 10 signs you don't know yourself, hopefully you will gain a framework for where to start as far as getting to know who you truly are so you can know where you're headed. Okay, see you guys later for part four.